Welcome compadres. Today we're going to touch a little bit on Python scripting. So if you remember in a previous video we went through, we created fastener elements or connector elements and then we pulled out our elements and then our associated connector forces. We did that in Notepad and it was very tedious, wasn't very efficient. Well, I'm here to say there's a better way to do it and you can do it with Python scripting. So let's show you how to do that and how you'd want to set something up like that. So the first step is go into your step module. You want to go into your field output. You want to create a field output request in a step that you want to pull out the variable for. I've already created one here called fastener forces and essentially what I'm doing is I've accessed the fastener set that we created and then I've gone through and selected the connector forces right there as my output. So that's the selection we want to pull out. So I created that in the field output. Next thing you want to do is you want to go set your working directory to your script location. So we've created a script at this location right here called extract connector forces. So we want to reference that location in everything that we do from here on out. So you go to file, set working directory, And then I've already put it in there. That's the location that we need to access. So now we can go run our job. So we create a job, and it's important to keep track of the names here. So this is the job we ran. It's called gload. It'll output that file name as a ODB file, an output database that you will be pulling the connector forces from. So once you run that, what it's going to do is it's going to actually put that ODB file right here at that location where your script is. So once those things are in the same location then you can go run your script. So we go to file, run script, extract connector forces, press OK. And so you can see here I've already ran it once, I've ran it again. Program start, programmed end is coded in there. So it ran and it output this test file. And if we open it it should have the exact same elements that we had in our other spreadsheet. And you can see it does. It has our elements, names in one column, our connector forces in the X direction in one column, connector forces in the Y, and connector forces in the Z. So I got the same result with the script, which is pretty amazing. It's a lot more efficient than doing it manually like we did previously. That was just annoying. So it's important to learn how to script, but let's go ahead and step into the code to show how this was written and how easy it can be to write a script like this. So we go edit with notepad. This is the script. You can see it's not very big. So some key aspects up here is the modules that you import. The important ones you need from Abacus are these right here and then you have some other imports. CSV is one we use in this script. So then here's my printed statement printed program start to let me know that the script ran and then I have my job name which is the same as my ODB name and then I have the step that I needed to access the variable and then I have the variable I want to access. Next thing you want to do open the ODB and you want to access those objects that have the data in it. So I go through put in the step right here and then I access the last frame and then I have the ODB variable object called values right here. And then what I created next is a ordered dictionary to store the data. Now what I want to do is I want to loop through the values objects and access the elements that I need. So I loop through the value objects right up here. ODB variable, that's the values objects. I loop through every one of those and then I pull out the elements labels right here and I append it to this list. And I do the same thing for the connector forces. So you access the connector forces using this data property right here. So once I loop through, I get all the data that I needed. In this case, four connectors and then their associated forces. Now what I want to do is I want to write this to a CSV file. So this section right here does just that. It writes it to the CSV file and you get the output that I showed you. So guys, that's really easy to do, really easy to set up. 
I encourage you to learn Python scripting. It'll make you a more efficient engineer. So I hope you learned something, and I'll see you next time. Adios.